today's video, we're going to talk about how we're getting on with the project track. Got the wheels off of it finally, got it up on some uh, Harbour Freight type jack stands. And uh, we've got all new brakes to go on this, all new flexible hoses, and uh, yeah. Finally get to the last bit of uh, pickling around here on these lift blocks and that, and we get that painted in. Uh, otherwise, we're going to inspect the rear end in a minute. Uh, we've got some wiring to do, and then we can put the fuel tank back in it and carry on. Now we got it all cleaned out. You can see uh, there's a little bit of damage on this main ring gear here. I don't know whether it's picked up a piece or taken a piece off of something else yet. But, but otherwise, there wasn't much uh, metal on the magnet there or anything. So So as you can see, the uh, wagon brake mechanism is pretty seized up. I've got the other side apart and cleaned and painted, so uh, I guess we'll do the same for this one now. Well, now all the frame prep work's done, uh, time to put some new parts on. We've got wheel bearings, brakes, various other things to do. Start putting this thing back together finally. So I'd say key to this one is uh, plenty of anti-seize and don't forget the o-ring that sits inside this groove in here. And also when you're doing wheel bearings, be careful not to pull on these hubs too much when you're pulling them off. Because you can separate the CVs on these CV axles and that can be a pain in the butt to sort out. Put a bit over the top of that guy too to make sure the bearing assembly itself actually slips in there without getting hatched off and pushing that out. If you don't want to pry those out, they come out with compressed air really easy. Because uh, this kit didn't actually come with new ones. Luckily, these ones are still completely serviceable. So, and I apologize about the noise of the freezer in the background because that's what that noise is. So, brake backing plates next. Uh, these were horrendously rusty, but they actually cleaned up really, really good. So, uh, pretty damn happy with how they came out. They'll do for now. Make sure you put these on the right way around. I think it was this way. I can't recall them now. I'm going to have to double check. I don't know if you remember when I first picked up Gramps, I was looking at these uh, tie rods and uh, saying about how pencil thin they are. So uh, for this truck, we've got a set of these uh, Kryptonite products that came from uh, Dirty Diesel Performance, I believe. Diesel, Dirty Diesel Customs. Um, here's the set, and uh, as you can see, these are a way more substantial unit than uh, the standard unit. They're also very heavy, but they're a direct replacement, and uh, yeah, I mean you can see the difference right there. Uh, this is a hollow, this is hollow and threaded all the way through, but still like the thickness of metal there is like three times the thickness of the metal here. Fixings on both ends are more heavy duty. So what we're going to do now is just roughly match these up lengthwise and then put these on the truck. Well, you're actually seeing this is a normal size crescent wrench. I'm just really, really tiny. So I've got the kryptonite track rod ends installed, new flexible brake lines. Rotors are just on there for now. They're actually uh, still covered in oil. They need wiping off, but I figured I'd see what it all looks like. But yeah, coming together now. Well, it's starting to get cleaned up, clean up, clean enough to open up, I should say. But uh, still a lot of polishing to do. Still a lot of work to do. We'll pull the rock rams next and we'll pull the push rods out and we'll think about pulling the heads next i guess and then we'll get the block painted and we should pull the harmonic balance get all the covers off of it and then uh start from there 
Those cylinder head bolts are out. We've got a whole load of uh, 10 mils along here, and then 15 mils, 15 mils. Uh, I guess time to crack this off. 450,000 kilometers on this motor, so uh, yeah, about time to rebuild. Need better layout here, but the balls look fairly good. It just uh, all the carbon deposits that have just dropped off from that head gasket are all right down in there now. There you go. Now you can see. But otherwise, they look uh, nice and clean. They're scoring. They're scoring. Well, there you have it. A few of you have been asking about this truck. Uh, we introduced it a while ago now, uh, a couple of years ago probably. We've been working on it on and off since. Uh, as you can see, we've gone through the entire frame. Everything on it's been cleaned, painted, restored, what have you. A um, whole load of new parts installed, new wheel bearings, new brakes, new brake lines. Everything that we warranted needed doing. So, yeah, next big job. As you know, we're not going to be able to finish this one. Uh, we're getting deported. Uh, presumably around May the 5th. Uh, nothing's set in stone yet because of the, the way that COVID rolls and regulations are for flying. Nobody really knows how long the flight's going to be open or anything. So yeah, next big job, we've got to get this ready, put some tires on it, and weld it out. we got with the project truck. It's going to sit down here now until it's ready to go to its new home. We're going to sheet it over in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that's probably all we're going to end up doing with this one. A few of you are probably wondering about how we got on with our immigration problem the other day. Uh, we still are being deported, but situations have changed slightly. After the weekend, I, I sent a couple of emails over the weekend trying to explain ourselves, providing evidence of our, uh, of our excuses, if you will. And... Uh, all of a sudden, when we next dealt with CBSA, our situation was much different. All of a sudden, I could then record the conversation. Uh, everybody was very helpful, and all of a sudden, we weren't being railroaded out like we were to start with. It's almost as if the guy had sat there and watched my video. Well, I did send it to him. But yeah, so what that means is we got a little bit more time to get things worked out. We're still working to May the 5th as our potential leaving date. Um, nothing can be set in stone right now with the way the world is and the way COVID's going. But uh, yeah, meanwhile here we're progressing. We've just had the dog at the vets and she's had a jabs, uh, rabies, microchip and booster jabs and a health check. There's a whole load of things. We'll probably do a video about traveling with a dog just to fill people in who don't know. But Thanks for coming with us once again. We're gonna put this thing to bed now. It's time for us to go and have some dinner. We will catch you all on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.